Welcome to episode three of the 1977 Corvette restoration. If this is your first video, basically I'm restoring my Corvette and one of the biggest things is it needed a paint job badly. So I decided to tackle that process myself, not knowing anything about painting a car. The past couple weeks have been sanding the car which has been taken about 20 hours worth of actual labor. And I haven't really been filming a whole lot, but there's a few things that I think are really important to be able to showcase. So this one, if you've read the title, is about fiberglass body repair, which to me was a complete mystery. I put a different carburetor on the car and in doing so I replaced the carburetor stud. Now those are like cut to fit ones, and apparently I had it too long, and I went to go shut the hood and yeah, so basically there's a hole in there and I had to repair it. So I thought that this would be a good opportunity to showcase for those of you who have never seen it before or, you know, don't know much about it. I was in that camp. It's actually quite simple. This video is just kind of a showcase of us doing a little bit of fiberglass patch repair and a little bit of body filling work using glazing putty. Again, this is all part of the whole process of painting a car, so I thought this would be cool to showcase. Let's check it out. So we are about to fix this hole right here, basically applying some resin and letting it dry. Right, Paul? It activates, my bad. <laughs> Gotta get my words right. So, Paul's really good. He exactly measured that out. That was 18 drops. <laughs> okay, we got her. Fiberglass resin and our hardener mixed up. Just got a couple of patches for the hole that we're gonna fill here. I really oh, yeah. don't like using these little brushes like this, but it's kind of what I got. I'm just gonna put a little resin around the area that we're gonna repair. Got it sanded down pretty good. And then I'll just take a piece of that matting for, for a patch. Put some more resin on that. That's a good idea. We'll just touch it down in there a little bit so we will use this other one. So basically Paul pushed it down a little bit just so that it kind of went into the crevice a little more. Fiberglass is some sticky stuff. Not exactly fun to work with. Most people don't like it at all. I want to meet the guy who actually like loves that. Okay, we'll just let that take care of itself and it'll activate and uh, dry out and then we'll sand it, black sand it, and if it looks good and flat, then it's ready for primer. So that's how we do a little patch job. Patch it with Paul. <laughs> hmm? I said patch it with Paul. Patch it with Paul. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. <laughs> Next week on Patch it with Paul, we go to my mother-in-law's to do some quilting. <laughs> I love my mother-in-law, I really do. She does some beautiful, beautiful quilts. And we could go over there and do some quilting. If you come joking, I'm serious, mister. Let's go. All right. <laughs> so the fiberglass is dry. Activated. The fiberglass is activated. So now we're gonna go ahead and sand her down with some sanding blocks. Yep. Yep. That wasn't the cat. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sure everyone's probably gonna ask where the heck this cat came from. It was a stray cat that was found inside the pole barn. Paul was like, all right, guess I'm keeping her. And so her name is Spot because she's got a spot on her chest, a little white spot. Right there. Sometimes you pet her head and she'll fall right off the <laughs> Okay, so we missed the part where he was priming it, but we got it, put a little bit of primer on there just to see how it would cover it up, and it looks like... And there's a hole right there. 
<laughs> now there is. <laughs> Do not enlarge that and take it to the post office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now we got your fingerprints etched into the car's paint. Yeah, I'll, I'll sand them off so it don't match. <laughs> we'll fix that there. <laughs> I was more concerned about making it uh, solid enough to where it's not going to just pop on the first uh, uh, time you hit a hole. Right. Uh, nope, I think it's going to be fine. The thing I want to do, I want to put a couple of small pieces on the outside. Let it, uh, let it finish up overnight and then sand it down and see if we good good uh, flat sand on it, which I didn't think would be a problem because it's not a big area. And then I wanted to see how rigid it was and if there's any cracks around the where the hole was or anything like that. And then we'd have to put a piece or two on for reinforcement on the inside and then probably have to go back on the outside again. But it doesn't look like we're going to have to. It looks like that's going to come up pretty decent. So right now we're patching up a few spots <clears throat> that feel a little odd to us. This was a spot that had a pretty gnarly crack in it before. And right now, it looks like Paul put a little bit of resin on there last night when we were putting the fiberglass resin on the hood. So we put a little bit in that spot there to just kind of fill it in. Now he's feeling around. And what are you feeling for, Paul? He's feeling for high and low spots. It actually doesn't feel too bad. The crack was right in this area here. I just mixed the resin just to try to solidify it to see if it actually would fill a crack and if we had to had to grind it out and uh, put a patch in there but we don't have to so we had a little bit of a ridge where the resin was built up here yet but and this is something too that like the way it looks is one thing and the way it feels is a totally different thing too yeah. so you don't let your eyes de uh, deceive you let your uh, hands do all of the feeling around we we'll just mm. put a little putty on this one just to kind of make sure it's good and straight and is that toothpaste? Yeah, if that's what you want to use for toothpaste, you go right on ahead. You ain't borrowing my toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> and that way you just throw some across there and just see if we got any high and low spots. We'll block that out. To me it looks pretty good. Like got one little one little ridge and that's about it. Come back after that, after that dries and sand it, and that looks pretty good and straight to me. There's a couple other spots on the car that we've already hit. Didn't show the camera that, unfortunately, but we're pretty good on this. This was a spot on the fender that was pretty high up, a little bit of a divot. That's again all based upon how it feels. So we'll probably put another little application of spot putty here to the hood. We may not have to there. You don't think so? No. And the hood's actually pretty good. We're a little bit high, which we, where we did that patch yesterday. You can sort of see it a little bit there, the little hole right in the center, but threw a little primer again, on that, there just to kind of flat sand it to see where we ended up, and uh, I think it's going to sand out pretty good. We'll put a little little lady grid on there, block sand it again. Oh, you made it to the end of the video. I didn't think that you'd make it this far. I appreciate that. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Drop me a comment if you want to throw me any feedback. I'd appreciate that. Uh, also, stay tuned. The next episode is going to be me fixing the headlight brace. So uh, that was something I was going to do in episode one, but didn't get to yet. So that will be coming up next.